Hi, this video tutorial I will cover buffered output stream. Here you can see my output file.txt. Here you can see Java application. Java application can use buffered output stream to write data to text files. Buffered output stream provides buffering to your output stream. For example, buffered output stream can provide buffering to file output stream. Buffered output stream can write a larger block at a time instead of writing one byte at a time. So buffered output stream write is faster. Buffered output stream uses an internal buffer to store data. It adds more efficiency than to write data directly into a stream. So it makes the performance fast. Superclass of buffered output stream is filter output stream. Superclass of filter output stream is output stream. Buffered output stream class belongs to java.io package. Superclass of buffered output stream is filter output stream. Superclass of filter output stream is output stream. Superclass of output stream is object. Buffered output stream class implements closable, flushable, and auto closable interfaces. Buffered output stream class supports two constructors. First constructor accept output stream, second constructor accept output stream and buffer size. And using these constructors, we can create buffered output stream object. Here you can see the methods supported by buffered output stream class, flush method and write methods. Here buffered output stream adds buffering to file output stream. Here buffered output stream adds buffering to file output stream. And also we can specify internal buffer size. Here I have defined the class buffered output stream demo. It has main method. Inside main method I have created buffered output stream demo object. Then I am calling write file method. Inside write file method, I have created buffered output stream object using buffered output stream constructor which accept output stream. Output stream I am passing as file output stream. Here I have created a file output stream object using file output stream constructor which accept file name. File name is my output file dot text. Here I have declared the string Peter is going to India. Then I am calling getBytes method of string. This method returns byte array. Then using write method of buffered output stream, I am writing byte array content to my output file.txt. Then I am calling flush method of buffered output stream. Inside finally block, I am closing file output stream and buffered output stream. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. Successfully returned to the file. Please check the file content. I am refreshing this project. You can see my output file.txt is created. Content of uh, my output file.txt is Peter is going to India. And this is about buffered output stream and thanks for watching.